Hey everyone, Tim here from Algonaut. Alright, so we've just released the 1.4 free update to Atlas, and this one features a whole bunch of things that have been requested from our users. It's a really great update and takes Atlas to the next level to be an even more powerful workhorse drum sampler. At the same time, Atlas is still as super simple, fun, and straightforward as ever to use. There's a lot to cover, so let's get straight into it. So one of the things you can do in 1.4 is you can now navigate this map using your arrow keys on the keyboard. So obviously you've seen me clicking around with the mouse, and that works well. But if I zoom in, so, so you can see it clearer, I can now use the arrow keys on my keyboard to navigate all these samples. It's like playing snake with your samples, basically. I can also set up other keys on the keyboard to do other functions as well. So if I go to settings, down here in settings, you'll see shortcut keys. So I can say play the current selected sample on the map with the backslash, and I can load the currently selected sample on the map with a full stop button as well. So I can use the arrow keys to find a sample. That's pretty good. I can re-trigger it with the backslash, and then load it into the recently selected slot. So in this case, it's going to be the clap. And there it is. So it makes browsing all these samples even faster. So another new feature of Atlas 1.4 is the ability to automate any parameter in Atlas in any door. This is a great way to add variation and dynamics to a drum loop. So say for example I want to add a ride to this techno loop. I've already added one to the pattern here, so it sounds like this. It's a little bit flat. So what I might do is automate the shape knob. So in Ableton all you gotta do is pop up in the little panel, hit configure, wiggle the knob, and then you're good to automate. If I go into the pattern, I can come down here, move this to the side, and since that was the last thing I touched, here is my automation line. So perhaps what I'll do is I'll do some automation and see what that sounds like. Yeah, that sounds a bit more interesting. So that's automation. Another new thing in 1.4, which people have been asking for as well, is more parameters to control these sounds. So now there's a little toggle switch next to the parameters, which you can flick, and you can see other things you can play with. So for example, we now have tune, so you can fine tune a sample. We've got filter resonance, so in the case of, say, this clap, the filter is quite polite. But if we increase the resonance, It sounds a bit more like, say, a Pioneer DJ mixer filter. And you also get the ability to change the curve for the shape knob. So in this case, we can say, make it more sharp, or more rounded, so it sounds a bit more gated. And these, of course, can be automated as well. There are lots of other things we've added to Atlas 1.4 as well. So say, for example, down the layout selector, where you can change the layout of Atlas from, say, 4x4 to 2x8, or even 8x8 if you're using an Ableton push, we've now split Launchpad into two different options. So the top one, Launchpad Ableton, is designed to work when Launchpad is plugged into Ableton, and Ableton is using it as a control surface. And so when you're using Launchpad in this mode, you can swap between using it as a scene selector or a clip player, and or you can use user mode 1 and control Atlas as if it was a drum rack. Launchpad Generic, on the other hand, is designed so that if you're using another door like, say, Logic or Machine, you can plug your Launchpad in, and it will perfectly map to Atlas. So it makes the Launchpad that bit more versatile, which is pretty cool if you own one. So one thing we've learned from our users is that they often move their sample libraries around, and this ends up messing up the maps a little bit, because the map can't find the samples. So we've added a new feature. If you go to your maps, and click on a map that's missing samples, you'll see here these folders are displayed as being missing. If I click on one now, I can relocate it, and that means that Atlas will instantly update all the file paths, and the map will be fixed. So one thing we've found with some of our users is that they have massive maps with tens of thousands of samples, and this can sometimes mean opening and closing the UI in their door can be a bit slow. In my case, it's lightning fast, because we have a new setting called Fast Load UI. And what this does is it stores everything Atlas needs in a little bit of extra RAM. It only uses a little bit of RAM, but it means now that opening and closing Atlas, and just generally using it, is now lightning fast. We've also made a few changes to the advanced view. So if I click on this kick and go advanced, here you can see the waveform for this kick drum, which is now nicely colored and filled in, and also the ability to zoom in and scroll so you can make fine tune adjustments to that kick drum. So we have been busy here at Algonaut working not only on this 1.4 update, 
by making headway on our biggest update yet for Atlas 1.5. It's going to have a feature that many producers have asked us for, and this is going to change the game for coming up with awesome drum loops, and it will definitely have some Algonaut magic included. Keep an eye out for some videos on our channel soon. So that's a bit of a run through of the new features in Atlas 1.4. So make sure you head on over to the website and grab the demo which lasts for 10 days without limitations and give it a jam with your own samples. There's also a page there called Atlas Updates which you can see a full change log of all the little things we've added in Atlas 1.4. Also make sure you check out our YouTube channel for a whole bunch of weekly tutorials we're doing on using Atlas to make unique and inspiring drums and drum loops for house, techno, hip hop, as well as baseline patches, processing tips and tricks and a whole lot more. As part of the videos, we also give away a whole lot of free samples, free audio loops, MIDI loops and patches and all kinds of things. And we do about three videos a week, so make sure you subscribe. Otherwise, thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.